Welcome to the Training and Doctrine Command Hybrid Threat Op4 Academy. You are about to watch a hybrid guerrilla Op4 Company detachment conduct a raid on a Blue 4 command post. This visualization complements the TRADOC G2's instructional video for the hybrid threat tactical task, Execute a Raid, and is designed for company level units assigned an Op4 mission during home station training. By the end of this video, you should have an appreciation for the maneuver of the Op4 Company detachment during the execution of the raid, as well as the key subtasks for performing a raid. A raid is normally performed during periods of limited visibility, but for the purpose of clarity, this visualization shows the raid being conducted in the daylight. Welcome. Here is my guidance for the raid on the Blue 4 command post so that you can start your own mission plans and rehearsals. We have not conducted operations in this area for a while, but our spies tell us that while the Blue 4 has active security around the compound, most of their combat forces shifted to the east. This provides an opportunity to destroy this Blue 4 command post and draw more Blue 4 back into the area away from our battalion's planned operations. The command post is located in this compound. The compound is defended by an infantry platoon which maintains one squad on guard at all times. It has four guard towers, one in each corner of the compound two men on the entrance gate, and two men on a roving patrol. From what we know so far, the remainder of the platoon is housed in buildings 1 and 2. To the east of the compound is a platoon-sized combat outpost. This combat outpost is the closest and most likely unit that could come to the relief of the raid objective. Our mission is to destroy the command post and kill the personnel. I'm not interested in taking prisoners, but we will carry off any intelligence or useful equipment. We have our three constituent guerrilla platoons and weapons platoon with three 73mm recoilless guns, three 60mm mortars, and three PKM machine guns, which is enough firepower to deal with the Blue 4 on the compound. Since there is another Blue 4 platoon that could disrupt our raid, Battalion has allocated us a dedicated hunter-killer group from the first hunter-killer company. We also have two dedicated combat camera teams formed from the Battalion's sapper platoon to record the raid. Battalion will use the footage for information warfare efforts to prove that we are a powerful force in the world. Second and third platoons will form the raiding element. Weapons platoon will control one combat camera team and provide supporting fires. Second platoon will detach one squad to breach the wire fence, getting second and third platoons onto the compound. First platoon and the hunter-killer group fix the Blue 4 on the compound and prevent the combat outpost from sending a relief force. Battalion has infiltrated three reconnaissance teams from the recon platoon to observe three predicted enemy locations. Battalion talk, this is recon. We have established three observation posts covering the predicted enemy locations. In PEL-1, the CP is in Building 4, and two soldiers are patrolling the outside of the compound. Security is poor. In PEL-2, a Blue 4 platoon is conducting normal security activities in the combat outpost. In PEL-3, we have observed no Blue 4 activity. Once the recon OPs have reported their information, the Guerrilla Company detachment infiltrates into the area, moving in small elements. Commander, this is security element. We have completed our infiltration and are prepared to establish the containment ambush. We have observed no Blue 4 activity in the area. The remainder of the company detachment uses an infiltration route that brings them to the west of the objective out of sight and sound of the compound. Recon, this is Commander. We are ready to execute the raid. Give me a Blue 4 situation update, over. Commander, this is Recon. Area is quiet. Normal activity around the CP. Command outpost is quiet. No Blue 4 units observed outside the compounds. After checking with the recon and his subordinate units, the commander determines that his plan is still feasible. He orders the establishment of the containment ambush and occupation of fixing positions to isolate the raid objective. The hunter-killer element in places mines to contain the Blue 4. Commander, the containment ambush set. Roger, out. Commander, first platoon's fixing position established. Roger, out. Support and assault elements. Occupy your support and assault positions.
Support by fire position set. Over. Assault element set. Over. All units, initiate raid. Out. Everyone, stand by. Recoilless guns, destroy the southern towers first, then destroy the other towers and buildings one, two, six, and seven. All guns, fire! This is support element. All towers are destroyed. Guards in the open are dead. Over. This is commander. Breach point is suppressed. Initiate the breach. Out. Breaching element. Move out. Open. Second platoon, move out and destroy the command post in building four. Assault, move out. Third platoon, move out and destroy the security platoon. Over. Assault element, move out. Commander, this is 3rd Platoon Assault Element, Building 3, over. All guns, cease fire! Third Platoon, establish a perimeter on the east side of the compound. Second platoon, search the command post for any usable information or equipment. All elements, make sure you reorganize your units for exfiltration. Blue 4, QRF is moving. Six vehicles are en route. Ambush is set. We're ready. Weapons platoon and first platoon use exfiltration route 1. 2nd and 3rd platoon use exfiltration route 3. Hunter killer group, contain the blue 4 reaction platoon for 10 minutes and then use exfiltration route 7. We will link back up in the base camp. Roger. 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 Engaging blue 4 QRF. Contingency link up point. You have just viewed the subtask execution for the tactical task Executor Raid. 
These actions are appropriate for both the regular and irregular elements of the hybrid threat. The Op4 task execute array outline and TC7-100 series references are available on the Army Training Network. The point of contact for these references is the TRADOC G2 ACE Threats Integration Directorate at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, the Army's responsible official for hybrid threat tactical doctrine. Good luck in your mission as a flexible, thinking, and aggressively adaptive Op 4.